Welcome to Welcome. Love and Hips TV, everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back. We are so glad to be back on the set as usual. I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. <laughs> yes, you had a good talk today. I did. I gained 10 pounds. I know, so, me yeah. too. Everybody has, girl. You know. Yeah, it is. It's just hard not to, you know. And, and it's something that you shouldn't even be thinking about. Just fellowship with your family and eat what you want. That's what and I said. And just all you do is eat. You know. Eat two, three plates and take home. I went to the gym on Saturday to try, I ain't even wasting to, try my to time. do what I can. I'm not even wasting my time to go to no gym. <laughs> I did. You know you went to work out too, girl. Girl, I tried to go out today just to get a little I momentum. Went, I went yesterday trying to get my momentum back, girl. That's how you got to do. But I did. I had a good one. So I hope everybody had a good one. You burned out by five pounds. Yeah. Yeah, y'all see we missing our other uh, love over here. She's out sick today. Yeah, so. we miss you, Anna. Anna Boo, we miss you. So, so stop texting me, Anna. We miss you. <laughs> we know you watching right now. Yes, she is. So get well soon. She She's down in the bed yes. right now, a little under the weather. So mm -hmm. get well, boo. But anyway, we got a great show for y'all today. We are talking about all things power today, y'all. We got Mr. Tomike Ogugwa from, right. the, from the show Power on the show with us today. Yes. So we're going to talk about past seasons of Power and the upcoming uh, finale of Power that everybody is looking forward to. Can't mm. wait till that comes out, y'all. Yes. <laughs> ready. Ready also, for it. We're going to talk about other ventures that, you know, Tomika has as well. He got upcoming plays and He's been signed on a lot of future and upcoming movies, so he's yeah. been working. So I'm interested and curious to just hear about everything he's going to do up in 2020. That's right. A man on the move. That's like right. That. A man that made money. I love it. <laughs> All right. Black man working BMW. That's what I like to call him. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and introduce our guest to you all today, Mr. Tomike Agukwa. You all. Round of applause. Round of applause. Hey! <laughs> How you doing? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. <laughs> How the New York weather? It's snowing. I looked at the game today. Oh, my God. That the snow weather. is ridiculous up there. It's crisp, ain't it? <laughs> you know what? What it does, what it's been doing for the past few years, it'll give us a dusting, then melt away, and we'll be left with, like, slush and rain. And, and nonsense, but uh, so it, it was a dusting and it came away. Oh, and, okay. And, 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 it's just that air is What's the temperature maybe? up there? Cutting. Oh my god, it's cold. I don't, I don't know the numbers, but, you don't know it's, it's cold. but it's, cold. it's cold. 40. I was given a, I was given a sign, it's 40 degrees. <laughs> 40 degrees. Oh, okay, that's 40. That's actually pretty uh, warm. Come on, down to, <laughs> come on down to ATL and get some of this 60 to 70 degree weather today. Oh, I can, I can use it. I can yeah. use it. <laughs> so let's jump right on in. Let's go, yeah. Toy. So, you know, tell us about, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. How did you get into acting? And this was pre-Power. What, what was, what was uh, Tamike doing before Power? Um, well, Tamike uh, grew up in North Carolina. So that's where uh, I caught the acting bug. 
Mm -hmm. uh, I was in school at North Carolina a t State University, okay. Aggie Pride, and Aggie uh, Pride. I think they're going to be in Atlanta for the Celebration Bowl, okay. as a matter of fact. All right. So, um, when is that? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry? When is the Celebration Bowl? Uh, I believe um, both seasons are around, around January, I okay. want to say. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, I tend to, uh, so I, I, I under BFA in theater uh, from North Carolina a t so okay. uh, my career actually started on stage um, doing a lot of theater. And when I graduated from a &T, I moved on to Chicago where I cut my teeth uh, professionally on stage with theater companies like uh, Congo Square okay. and Pegasus Players. All right. Okay. Uh, ETA Creative Arts okay. uh, and others. So uh, I've been at this for quite a while. So I lived in Chicago for a few years doing theater and then i moved to new york uh almost 12 years ago now oh, okay i've so been you, i mean brandy to know you you just like those cold climates huh in Ch chicago, chicago to new york. Like, oh, <laughs> come get that southern love <laughs> hey. well i have a question for you so how was it or how did 50 cent go about choosing you to be a part of the cast well, you know what? It wasn't 50. Uh, it was actually uh, Courtney Kemp, who's the creator and uh, one of the showrunners of, of Power. So I think she has uh, final casting say-so. Okay. And, uh, you know, I didn't think I got it because it was about a week that passed by before I even heard anything. Mm -hmm. uh, and actually, that was my second time auditioning. I went in uh, for season one. And I didn't get the role. The role actually went to a good friend of mine named uh, Donald Paul, who's working um, in Atlanta right now. Okay. okay. Um, Shout out to Donald. Yeah, so I didn't get the role, but um, I got called back in for season two, and uh, lo and behold, I booked it. And, uh, All right. It was good. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah that was a, a momentous, momentous day. So. All right, so they must have took a liking to you because now you, uh, season two led to season four, led yeah. to season six, right? Season six, yeah. I mean, and the crazy part about it was uh, during season two when I was um, shooting with, with uh, Joseph. Shout out to Joseph Sakura, man. We just hung out uh, back, back in uh, a few months ago. Okay. I'm in Brooklyn, man. <laughs> I mean, shout out to him, but... Uh, so when I showed up to set during season two, mm -hmm. I was very tense and very nervous because up until that time, uh, I hadn't worked on a show quite that big. I had uh, did a bunch of like reenactments on, uh, on uh, like ID Channel and CNN and, and other networks. So that was my first time actually having like my own trailer, okay. uh, my own stand-in double, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Having full access to like crafty and that whole thing. So wow. all of that was new to me. Okay. So the director of the episode, episode 209, is when I'm introduced. Uh, uh, when I tell Tommy to hurry up and take off the chain. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, talk to me and um, encouraged me. And I came back and, uh, and did what I was supposed to do. And I guess they liked my work because they kept bringing me back. So I just wanted to make sure that I did a good job. And, uh, so that's what I was so so tense about. I just want, didn't want to blow it, so to speak. I think you did too good of a job. I see you jacked up, Mr. St. Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> you jacked him up a little too much. I'm like, oh, he for real, for real. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you was on set with some, some heavy hitters, uh, so I, I imagine it would be pretty intimidating, but you, you know, apparently uh, did a good job at uh, getting the job done, so kudos yeah. on that. Yes, you handle ghosts, honey. Yes. So what's next for Mr. Ogugwa? <laughs> Am I saying um, your last name next? right? Yeah, you said it right. You get a gold star. All right. Yeah, come on, people. I can't say it. <laughs> you must have been in the mirror practicing like I have. I heard you say it a couple times. I done practiced this since then. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? And I really do, um, all jokes aside, I really do appreciate the effort. You know <laughs> yes. Um, so what's next, though? Um, I'm actually um, writing a uh, called Tumultuous. Um, okay. It's based on a book, um, based on a novel by Yolanda Perry. Mm -hmm. and, um, you know, I was approached to write uh, a play because uh, I was in theater school and I'm trained to do such things. So uh, other than act, uh, I wanted to make my foray um, into writing. Uh, so I'm in the beginning stages of writing a play. Um, okay. 
I just got uh, I just got cashed in a in a series called the DOC, okay. um, which will be dropping in twenty twenty, and uh, I also slated to shoot a new film called A Cup Full of Crazy, uh, written and directed by Jillian Bullock, and that shoots in Philadelphia in the spring, and I'm so excited. All right. And what else I got going on? Um, you working? That's yeah, right. uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's that, that's what's that's what's coming down the pike. So I'm very, very excited about that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just shot a film called Shadows like two weeks ago. Oh, and, wow. Um, hey. um, star, that's a film starring uh, hip hop star Saigon. So okay. be looking for that. So, yeah, we, you know, you just trying to work. You know what I mean? Uh, you do, do what I do out here, which is uh, what I love to do. Oh, well, that's that's so, amazing. Right. So how do you get rest? Like, how do you balance your day-to-day life routines? Because you've been posting. You've been getting booked, like, every day. <laughs> like, you on my timeline, booked, to book, to book. Yeah. So how you, um, how you I mean, resting? Yeah. It's, that's, a, that's an excellent question. Uh I, I don't I, I don't know how I do it. I'm just an artist, um, you know, based in New York City. Like like every actor in New York City is, you know, we're all trying to work and we're all trying to trying to grind and, and get to where we're trying to go. Um, because as an actor, you are your own boss. You are your own uh, CEO and entrepreneur. So it's actually a 24 hour a day job. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know how I do it. That's a good question. I need to think about that one because <laughs> I just you know, I just do it. I don't think about I don't think about it, you know what I mean? I just probably, I, probably don't yeah. think about it much right. because when you're doing something that you love, <laughs> love. sometimes it doesn't feel like work, it right? Doesn't. As much. So it, it doesn't, even though it is your grind, your day to day, and you know, you got to do that yeah. to pay your bills. But if you love it, then you know, you just kind of go at it wholeheartedly without really thinking right. about that adrenaline rush. Yes, yeah, so adrenaline. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. So. Um, I heard that you had an interest of in doing some type of project in St. Louis. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, and I was told that I was supposed to ask you about this project in St. Louis. Yeah, right. shout, out to, um, shout out to um to Mr. Vaughn there. You know what I mean? <laughs> um so you know, I was trained on stage. I have a real love for the stage. I would love to do something at um at the Black Rap in St. Louis. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'd love to just do something there in, uh, you know, on stage. I love doing theater, and I just don't get the chance to do it as often anymore because I'm doing television and film so much. Now. Right. But I would right. relish the opportunity to do something on stage at uh, St. Louis Black Rap, and also um, in, it ain't St. Louis Rap. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, yeah, I would love to just go to go back to the Midwest because I have such a deep history uh, in Chicago. I would, I would love to just go back to the Midwest and then get this one. Right. Get out of New York. You know what I mean? Get out of New York a little bit. <laughs> a little know? bit. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, St. Louis Black Rep, if you are listening, um, you know, we ready to work. Ready to work. All right, St. Louis, y'all heard it? Right. Y'all heard it from him. St. Louis. Y'all heard it from the man. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. you have put that out there in the universe, so it shall be done. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> yeah. It be returned back to you. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it has been a pleasure having you on with us. Yes, it definitely has. <laughs> it has. And it, I've been so excited just to say, just to talk to you. And I watch Power. I watch you on Facebook. I watch you on all your adventures or everything that you post. Like, we're so proud of you. We support you on everything that you do. We're, like, one of your biggest fans also. So anything you need from Love and Hips, we here for you. Thank you so much, ladies. And yes. Much love, much love. Uh, yes. It means it means so much. It humbles me. It really does. It, it motivates it motivates me, uh, just just to keep going and and hopefully I'm doing the right thing in, in my mission. Absolutely. Um, yeah, Absolutely. I think before I go, I just I just want to say um, thank you to you guys for thank having me on. No problem. Um, you know, um, and also uh, I was just recently in Atlanta um, a short time ago uh, at the gala for Sisters in Charge, which is a nonprofit that fights domestic violence. Awesome. Right. Awesome. Definitely. Uh, a cause really close to my heart. And uh, so I just want to give uh, Sisters in Charge and Samara Charles uh, a huge shout out, uh, you know, yes. for allowing me the platform uh, to help join her uh, in that fight. So uh, that's so, an yeah. awesome, awesome fight. 
Yeah, and the real. next, uh, are they, when the next time you having another event down here with Charge Up Campaign? Is it something like we um, can come to? Sisters in Charge is Sisters the name of the charge. nonprofit. Uh, okay. So she normally has a, an annual gala uh, every October, like the third, about the third week in October okay. every year. Okay. And you said it was uh, uh, Tamara Charles. Tamara Charles. Yeah. Tamara oh yeah, Charles. we She's yeah we okay. had her we had her on our show. She yeah. came on our show yeah. with her book. Yeah. Her book. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, so she's she's a great um and close friend of mine. So awesome. Yeah, she, she's yeah. such a sweet lady. She is so humble. So reach out next time you uh yeah. you're in the city. So maybe we can uh, yeah. collab and do something together. We we're all about uh domestic violence awareness as definitely. well. Definitely, yeah, we're representing definitely. for that. We support. I do yeah. have a confession though. Uh, uh oh. My confession is I didn't watch Power until. Uh oh. Wait a minute. I was not a power watcher until three weeks ago. I binged it, and now I am a true power fan. <laughs> I have made it all the way to season six. So yes. I watched it, started watching it three weeks ago. So oh, I, good, good. Yes. So, yeah, we're back, and we're back uh, February, not February, excuse January me. January 5th. Yeah. It's the January last five, five. We're back. Yes. Uh, I am in that first episode. Okay. So, um, so I'm very, very excited that uh, you guys finally... Uh, get an opportunity to see me in action. What's oh. this one right here? She's been watching you. She's been I, A1 from I, I day know. one. I know. Everything you want to know, I know it from, <laughs> from start to finish. Well, I do too now because I'm all in now. And I'm, I'm really all in. My son has been a fan. He's like, he's been trying to get me to watch. But I'm just not a big TV person like that. But I swear I'm stuck on the show and uh, I have binge watched that show for three weeks and I cannot yeah. wait to January the 5th to see the last five episodes. Right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I thank you so much for your time, sir, and enjoy the rest of your night. All right. Thank you so much. You get... Later. Uh, bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, that was a pleasure that having him on. talking to him. <laughs> yes. So, uh, uh. All right. So we got a uh, quick break. Yes, ma'am. Um, I think we're going to watch... Um, uh, well, <laughs> well we're so, right there, huh? <laughs> so we back home, and uh, that was that was awesome talking to to Mike. He seems like he is a just a great guy, so all, humble, well and rounded, so, right? And uh, you know, when you like that, opportunities just keep falling. So, and you see, he working. He's working. It's coming okay? to him. He's working. When you so, humble, it comes to you. It does. It does. I always got to humble yourself, and uh, great things will come your way, honey. Yes, and, Trust you, and you believe. Connect with the the right people. That's you right. make some things happen. Yeah, so, and so he's definitely out. in there with some heavy hitters, honey. Yes, he, he is. Got in there and did the deck on thing, and they shout keeping out. them working. So right, and shout out to Tamara Charles, like that's our girl. We miss yes, you. We so. read the book. We support you. Absolutely. Anything so, you need when y'all uh, when he comes back it. in and you all do a project, we definitely want to be part of we that. We gonna put yes, we definitely gonna pull up on you. All right, so we mm. are going to go to a break and uh, have a. I think we got a little video of uh, Jastopia. And then we'll be back with you all, and we're going to talk about our hot topic for today. Okay? Don't miss it, because it's right. always it's juicy. For the power fans, it's a hot topic. <laughs> Don't miss it.
right, we are back. And it is time for our juicy hot topic. Our power related yes. hot topic. Yes. Power topic. Relationship topic. Y'all ready for this one? Let me go on and give y'all the number so y'all can call in. Okay. Y'all can also comment if y'all are uh, watching uh, Love and Hips TV. Um, the number is 470-251-4647. Mm-hmm. That's right. All right. So. All right. Let's jump right into the juiciness. <laughs> now, for our power lovers, you all know that Jamie St. Patrick was in love with Angela. Was it Valdez, Valdez or something? Valdez. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Knowing Tasha knew that her husband was in love with another woman, knew he was in love with Angela, but she turned, she chose to turn her head the other cheek because what? She wanted to keep her family together. She wanted to keep Jamie. She wasn't trying to lose the situation. Mm-hmm. The question of the day to you all is, could you be married, man or female? Could you be married to a male or could you be married to a woman and know that your spouse or significant other is in love with somebody else? Could you still be with them and know that they love someone else? Is that really or is it truly possible to do? Toy, so, what you think? <laughs> Before I say, I was going to tell you, go on and elaborate on that, but I'll, I'll start. Um, <laughs> I guess in some situations it is possible, and it just depends on, on your makeup and what the situation is and how you view love and relationship but me personally it's not me I, I just can't do it i i can't maintain that type of setup okay. and, and maintain my sanity at the same time so right. for the sake of my sanity and everybody around me it's, it would be best for me to uh part ways and um get out of that situation uh tasha's situation is a little different Oof. uh on the show um she was a good kept woman she was kept. So financially for her kids, she didn't know how to, she didn't know how to separate herself from that lifestyle. Right. So it's like, you know, in order to be able to maintain this lifestyle and, and uh, maintain mm-hmm. this lifestyle for my kids, then this, this is just what I'm just going to have to deal with. I'm going to have to let him go ahead and do what he does right. and just somehow separate myself uh, from this situation and do what I do. Right. So she developed other relationships and other feelings, feelings for other but people. But well, she tried right. to on the side. I think that was just a way of her masking her feelings that she had or that she had to, um, uh, she had to mask for her husband. She had to set that to the side. So, ah, you know, how do you feel? Good answer. How I feel. It's a difference between loving someone and being in love with someone. Maybe you know your significant other still love your the ex girlfriend or whatever because you generally care. Okay, I understand that, but to know that my spouse or my mate is in love with another woman, could I lay next to this person every night knowing that he thinks about her all the time, or whenever he leaves the house, is he going to see her, or whenever he makes love to me, is he thinking about her? Stuff like that mentally is it's impossible for any woman. Now, if you're one of those women that a kept woman, and you got maybe your house, your cars, he financially takes care of everything. Some women can deal with that. Some women don't even care. They probably have them a dude on the side, too. Some people can deal with that. I'm just saying for me personally, I just don't think that, you know, I think I see her, the reason why Tasha did it. Yeah. She wanted to keep her family together. She protective, so she's going to do whatever it takes to keep mm-hmm. her family together. Right. But at the end of the day, how do you lay next to a man that he loves another woman? I, I, how do you have sex with someone and you know he loves somebody else? I mean, some men can do it easily, but women are emotional creatures. We are emotional creatures. So. You can tell. Like, if we're mm-hmm. not into it, you definitely can tell. So, that's that's really a, that's a hard topic. But, you know, if if you have your own opinion about that, y'all should call in or go on our website or with Love of um, Love, and Hips. Love and Hips TV page. And, and uh, post and your comment. comments and just say how you feel about it because... Ooh, in today's society, or how you say in Atlanta, 
There we go with Atlanta. <laughs> in Atlanta, <laughs> a lot you know, of things. We is are the mecca of of uh, openness, no open relationships, and and uh, and not and doing whatever in right. relationships. So uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Atlanta has a bad title. We have a bad reputation bad. when it comes to uh, maintaining a relationship or even even getting into a relationship. It's, they say or, it's difficult here because people one. come here to play. They think this is the land of the playing, and nobody wants to be serious here. The land of you have your wife, your girlfriend, <laughs> your baby mama, your sideline hoe, your mistress. Hell, oh, not the sideline hoe. All, all the So, <laughs> welcome to Atlanta, okay? Don't bring your man here if you want to keep him. Okay? Oh, my God. Don't sorry. say that. I'm sorry. It's true. <laughs> don't bring your man. Don't bring your man all you want here to try to keep him. You know, I don't, yeah, I don't know if it's the place for just up Unless y'all get a good job, or somebody get a good job opportunity here, I don't know if that's just a place your couple would be like. Well, let's just move to Atlanta. No, no, no I wouldn't do that. No right now. way. Ooh, you might just want to. Let's just, not. Just stay where you at for a minute. Make sure y'all relationship is a little let's strong. Let's find a little, another little small just a little town bit to move before, to. Yeah, but mm. but yeah, I mean, I guess it just depends. It just really just depends on the situation. It depends on the situation. So I think uh, coming from um, a man's perspective, it's quite different. You know, right. uh, I'm not a man, but I, I'm like you said, they're not as emotional as us, so they can. Um, I, I feel like they can roll with it a little bit better. <laughs> they roll can, with they can roll with the punches. And they can roll with the punches, you know. So some women are very possessive and jealous, and some men are well, too. They, they are too. Deal with that. They yeah. are too. They just don't. Sh- they don't wear it on their sleeve like we do, mm. you know. Until you give them a taste of their own medicine. That's right. You know, if then they the see game, you with somebody else. The ball changes. Yes, honey. Oh, what's the matter? What's the matter, boo? But yes, <laughs> in the show, of course, since, what what season was that? I think in the beginning, Jamie St. Patrick has always, you know, that was his high school crush. Or what this, yeah, high school and college. Yes, so he's right. always loved her. He's always her. loved that girl. Yeah, yeah he I did. I don't and, know why uh, he never did marry her. Oh, yeah, because her parents wouldn't allow it because Jamie, they knew Jamie was a, a drug dealer. A dealer-er. gangster. Yeah, so <laughs> never did. But. So, yeah, they wasn't having it. And then she was, uh, uh, they wanted her to go to what is uh, law school mm-hmm. or whatnot. So, you know, that just wasn't uh, befitting for her to be with him. So, you know, sometimes bad guy. that happens. You know, that does happen. You it does. run into an old flame and you want to try to. Bring that back. But sometimes we said in the old show, we was on Tina Bridges' show. Sometimes bringing them old flames ain't what it's supposed to be. No. Sometimes old flames need to be an old flame. Yeah, that's true. And but stay you know, old flame. It, especially when it's at that young love, that, that teenage love, you think, you know, po- quite possibly it could have been something had, it, had you all had a chance to grow. And then you see that person and you're like, oh, you know, you're all giddy and stuff. The shoulda, woulda, coulda. Like, that's right. you like... And even though, you know, time has went on, you still got that, that feeling about that person. Like, maybe this that's the person. Maybe quite possibly. Right. And you, you do test the water to see if he changed or, you know, try to find. And sometimes it works. Sometimes it does. Like, you know, we don't wait it. You don't separate it, did your thing. Or they separate, did their thing. And y'all come back together. And, hey, sometimes it works. I don't, you know, I don't know. But sometimes it works. I just think the past is the past. And. Yeah. Sometimes it should be left in the past on that, but you know. Oh goodness! Look at this one over. Here. Oh, we having technical difficulty with this. I'm having some, te- I'm having some technical. Difficulty. She's trying to watch an episode of Power on her phone right now. That's not what I was trying to do, y'all. <laughs> she's trying to look at Power right now. I am not trying to watch Power. Oh, yeah. she's, she's trying to look at uh, Tommy. Oh she, my God! Trying to look at Tommy and see what Tommy doing. No, you know I am not all that tech savvy, y'all. So sometimes it gives me a, a little uh, trouble when I'm fooling with my phone. Hold that phone. <laughs> Listen, hold that phone. They, they just not yeah. go hand yeah, in hand. This. But anyway, the number to call in if y'all want to talk about today's topic is four seven zero two five one. 4647. Call in and give us your opinion. Or like I said, put it on our um, page. Love and Hips, uh, The Art of Dating Thick, or Love and Hips TV, or just call in and give us your opinion about it. I know it's a lot of couples out there that, you know, might go for it and might not. So, you know, just let us know how you feel about it, what's your opinion, what you think, and holla at us. Mm-hmm. Yes, honey. And I got power watches out there. I know y'all ready. Because so. I thought I had a few clips of the show segment. Do you have those? Uh, 
Yeah, because some of those clips of Jamie and uh, Tasha and mm-hmm. um, Angela. And Angela. Yes, honey. Some of them looks and some of some of those sex scenes. <laughs> there were so they, many of them. They were child. so real. They were real, real. I was like, okay. Like, are y'all really <laughs> having sex on, like, live? Yeah. That's pretty them much show, the Jamie, them real. Like, you seen everything, the whole silhouette. I was just... That's why every woman loves power. <laughs> from watching Jamie, yeah. from watching Tommy, even Tasha when she got it in with the little little lawyer. Yeah, guy. with the lawyer guy. She, yeah, she tried to be a little. She sexy. sure did. Well, she did too. Even when she was with uh, when she was with her, when she was with Ghost, the sex scenes. That yeah, look at them. <laughs> That's Tamika. <laughs> look at you. We see you. Uh, you got Jamie hemmed up right there. Got him hemmed up. <laughs> You got them hemmed up now. Mm-hmm. Now nah, I know I had more than that, but hey, I guess it's okay. <laughs> Y'all, and for the power fans, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know the relationship. You know the sex scenes. Mm-hmm. You know all the little hot and steamy, hot and bothered. So, yes, yeah, call us in with the you know with your segment or your questions, and just let us know how you feel about the question of the day. Me personally, I just can't do it. Just point blank simple. There you go. Look. Love Angela. <laughs> Love her. Look how he hold her. And they have a meme on Facebook about him with his wife versus him with his sideline chick. Yeah, see. See, look. He playing both sides of the fence. And Tasha all happy. Well, honestly, I did feel like that. You know, he really does have love for both of them. Obviously, he loved his wife. Got three beautiful children with her. Uh, you know, they got this history together. Uh-oh. And she mad. No, she stayed mad. She stayed mad. He stayed giving him that face all the time. Stayed. Because he always doing something. He yeah, he was. And, but she could see right through him. So she knew. She knows him very, very well. And that right there is when Jamie had... They said they were going to separate. She stayed crying all the time. She stayed... Died. Girl. Girl. She love that Damon Sack passion, honey. Them sex things. I know why you love them. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Boy, the battle go, of the finest. Go both of them. Who, gonna, who shot go? Well, what you call it? Dead. Oh, I'm sorry. Y'all don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> Look, don't go tell them. We done don't, told already. Don't do, go doing no sorry. spoiler alert. Well, if y'all girl. ain't watch Power, then you gonna I'm sorry. You're going to have these power folk acting up on I'm you. Of course, most people, if you're a Power fan, you probably done already watched it you know the, right. um Right. And you waiting on them last five episodes. But, I'm sorry. Yeah. Cats so, out the bag if you ain't seen that There yet. goes them, uh, them two women that... Uh, in love Ghost. with the same man. In love with the same man, honey. At the same time. But like I said, I think time. that he really did. Obviously, he had love for both of them, uh, you know, in two different ways. But he was truly in love with uh, Miss Angela Valdez. He had more love for Angela. It's a respect issue for, for Tasha, Tasha because Tasha, she she's the mother the of his kids. Yeah. 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 But so. in love, yeah. Definitely mm. love Angela. Right. Mm, so. So. And everybody knew, even Tommy. Tommy was like, oh my God, you're losing it to this lady. <laughs> I can but talk about the show can't talk. You sure can, girl. I sure can. <laughs> I can say about everything. You can do a review of, yes. of power. We can do a you power. Or, or be a power critic. <laughs> yes. Like they do the other highlights, but um, what's his name? Uh, T- Terrence Howard or something that he does after every show. He does like a recap. Um, of everything that happened on Yeah, Power. I saw somebody when I, like I told y'all, I, I had to binge <laughs> and then really got into to the show. It really is a good show. Um, so I noticed after some of the episodes, they would have a lady I'm not familiar with who she was, but she would give like a recap. And uh, I thought about you. I said, and then this one right here, she could definitely fell right on into that. And then uh, I give you all, to- the tea, huh? <laughs> all the tea, all the tea. Yes. Yes. Uh, every character I know. But I'm excited. I'm ready for it to come back on on the fifth and uh, and see. Good work, fifty. We watch it. You got our attention. <laughs> so what? You, you got anything going on new in your life, sis? Uh, got anything new coming up? No, I'm just you know you know this is the end of the year. 2020 is about to come. <laughs> you know, other thing I'm doing right now is just focusing on me and focusing on continuing to build on our brand, continuing to. You know, build our sisterhood with love and hips. And That's right. With our team and just continue to grow into as as a woman. Yeah. Just grow every day. I know it. I saw you post that you are about to come into your what? I'm about to come into my 40s, honey. <laughs> Capricorn season. She's about 
about to come Ooh, into come it, honey. She's about yes, to honey. join the 40 40 club. 40 40. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, it's an amazing time. So, uh, oh, I think this is. Miss Anna with all her sickness calling us. All that flu. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to. I should have just put you on speaker, Anna. See, then I tell y'all not tech savvy. And she hung up. Call, Call back. Call me now. Call she hung back. up on you, Anna. Call back, Anna. <laughs> oh. I know it. Yeah, it. But anyway. Technical difficulties. See, that's me. I'm. I, it's, it just ain't even my life. Look. Reminder, don't let her touch the phone, nothing. Anna? Yes, I know. You hanging up on me and everything. <laughs> Anna, you know she just said she's not savvy, Anna. You knew you couldn't stay away, girl. You had to call, huh? Yes, I had to put my two cents in. I'm over here on my deathbed. But you know, I got you back. Not the deathbed, not the deathbed. We, we trying to get We trying to get you back on the show in, in a couple weeks now, Anna. We don't know about the deathbed, Anna. I'm, I'm trying to get better. I'm medicated with one eye open, but I'm watching. Okay. <laughs> so what you think about... Uh, the question. Uh-huh. Um, I think it's a really good question. And um, personally for me, I don't think that I could lay next to a man that loves another woman. Right. It just is not fair because it's not fair for you and it's not fair for the other woman because... Right. If he loves another woman, let him be with another woman. You know right. what I mean? Right. Because it's just not fair for you to have to sit here and that would frust that would frustrate the hell out of me. Like I would be pissed. <laughs> yeah, I would too. It frustrated and me too, I know Emma. That you love another woman. Go be with the other woman. You know. Yeah. And then if you're a kept woman, you can just figure all that out. It's financial, but like as far as parents and stuff, you don't have to be together. Like your kids will be happier if you guys are both happy parents and kids. Yeah. Right. But it and, would just be too much. And that's probably I one of her reasons why she stayed. Just... And it was, it was mostly, it was mostly financial with her because that's why she had to come. She was coming up with all kinds of game plans of how she was gonna get out of it because ultimately she couldn't. <laughs> and I think most women can't handle that. You know, they, you know, ultimately you want to get deep. out of it. Yeah. Deep, yeah. It messes with your mental after a while. It does. Right. <laughs> right. Literally messes. Well, you with ladies you. look beautiful, and um, thank you, love. So... Well, well, we appreciate it, and we want you to get better. You need me to bring you some soup? Thank you so much. <laughs> I don't have enough time. I might think giving sucks because I've been in bed since Tuesday, so. I know. I, I might have lost a couple pounds, which is probably the, the positive, but that's about it. <laughs> you don't want me losing it don't that way now. too much of that love, okay, Anna? <laughs> Girl, we're going to get your chicken soup and a lot of rest and a lot of fluids and uh, rest Come on, doctor. Come on, doctor toy. (laughs) Nurse toy. (laughs) Nurse toy, my bad. Anyway, love you, girl. Thanks for calling in. Mm -hmm. And bye. (laughs) You have had um, advice from nurse toy over here, so (laughs) if you're sick and need, you know, a little therapy, (laughs) just call in. Nurse toy. She got you. I do all the time. Honey. Yeah, she, she got me when I'm sick. Too, honey. Sixteen years strong. Honey. Ooh, get it, girl. <laughs> Come on, nurse toy. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, well, son. It has been an actual pleasure again doing another show. This is our what show now? This is the knife show. Is that knife show? Yes, it's time to flew by. Time has flew yeah. by. Yeah. Like, we are awesome, so I, I'm, <laughs> we, I'm thankful. I think we seasoned. We done made it almost to the we end of this 2019. Thank coming you. up on 2020 and more blessings to come. We are claiming it. Yes, ma'am. Yes, and thank you for continuing to watch Love and Hips and following us. And uh, we got a lot of projects coming up. So. 2020 is going to be a busy year for us, but, you know, keep us in your prayers. Keep us make sure, you know, we're going to be focused. We're going to work. We're going to commute, you know, network and get out and reach a lot of, yeah. you know, our fans. So make fans sure you and follow us in the community just watch. and look and see what we're yes. doing and uh, come and check us out. So we'll have a, a lot of things coming up soon. Yeah. And um, our um, next show, we have R&B artists. Ooh. 
girl. Yes, Tony Tatum. All right, Tony. Uh, he is an amazing R and B singer. He's gonna come and bless us with his voice. Yes, honey. Bring, to help us bring in the Christmas season, honey. Serenade me, it Tony. It is Christmas time, y'all. So we're gonna bring in the holiday season with the amazing voice of Mr. Tony Tatum. He is work with the likes of Keith Sweat and oh, right. a lot of amazing R and B artists. Uh, so. Uh, he's constantly getting his work on. Uh, I think he's, I'm not exactly sure if he's from Atlanta, but I know he's an Atlanta native. He lives here. So, so uh, we're going to have sexy Tony. We need to make sure we dress sexy for that sexy <laughs> Let me bring Tony, out my black we, dress. We ready for you, honey. So, Serenade um, me. We bring wine and candles gonna, and everything. We're going to do our little Christmas curls and, 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 uh, we going to bring ugly sweaters. I think we should. I think we should do our uh, ugly Christmas sweaters. I'm going to have to tell him to wear one. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so, oh, Lord. <laughs> we can do our little ugly Christmas sweater and uh, maybe do our little gifts to change or something like that. We on will. The show. We should do that. Yes. I think so. Yes, so, let's do that. Um. Anyway. Anyway, thank you all for thank tuning in. Thank you all for in. tuning in. Happy holidays to everybody. And we will see you all before Christmas. Next show coming up in two weeks. Bye. Love and hips out.